Hello, in this tutorial series, we will make a Pong game, a very simple Pong game actually, so let's get started. Actually, I make a folder called Pong, so we can separate a little our different pro uh, projects. Okay, here we have to make a few files. I planned to make a ball class, which will be our ba uh, ball, obviously, and and make a pedal class, actually, I think that's what it's called, so this pedal right here, which will... Um, uh, Heat the ball back. Okay, so let's make this. So we have to make uh, main.cpp. This will be our entry point of the program. We need to create a ball.h, a ball.cpp. Uh, we need to create a pedal.h, a pedal.cpp. Okay, and uh, for now, just these. Okay, so we just created all of these files. Okay, I just open all of these files and we are ready to start. Okay, as you can see, all of them is empty, so yeah. Okay, uh, before we start, I think that we should start the graphics. Okay, so I just open the GIMP and make uh, some very simple graphics. Okay, I just create a new and make it uh, the width is 10, make it 20 and the height, uh, no, make it 10. Okay, 10 pixel width and 50 pixel height. Okay, and that's it. So, I just make some very simple pedal with uh, black and, uh, you know, the other color. And just do some very simple tests right there. Okay, and now it is two. Okay, this is it. This will be the pedal. It would be nicer, but it doesn't. Okay, just save it as a BMP to our project folder, so this pong. And call it pedal.bmp. Okay, uh, don't worry, later you can uh, do whatever you want with this pedal, so make it a little nicer and, you know, okay, and I just make a new, and uh, this will be 20 by 20, I think this will be the ball, okay, I set the background color first to 0, 0, F, 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 so we can, you know, set color key, and, this, and we can mm, make the uh, background, you know, transparent, okay, and our ball will look like something like this, a uh, little smaller. Okay, here is our ball. Almost perfect, but it's not. Okay, just want to set a little bit. Okay, kind of do it. For now, later you can add, I don't know, another ball, a nicer ball. Call it ball.dmp. Okay, I've already put some files into my project folder. So, our TTF file, this air.ttf, which I use always. A ball, uh, so yeah, I just do this now. And I put these two files, so an effect. I don't know, do you hear it or not? Oh, you cannot hear it. So, that's right. Uh, so, whenever we hit the ball, it will uh, uh, do that effect. And I have just some uh, downloaded music, uh, the same as we uh, used to demonstrate the sound. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, the ball.cpp is perfect, or the ball.cpp. Okay, uh, so, we just include the sdl slash sdl dot h so our sdl and uh, pretty much there is no other need to include okay we use a macro or other call of the preprocessor directive maybe that's the correct name never mind so uh, if not defined you remember we should do that in case of all header files uh, to avoid multiple inclusion so if not defined uh, uh, ball h then we define the ball of h like that to l and at the end we just use the end if okay simple enough and here our class will uh, place between the de uh, if the uh, defined and end if so a class ball okay we have to think about it what property do a ball have okay a ball have actually it have an x and a y coordinate so in x and y it has a velocity which you which is move uh, this represents by two numbers, an xl and then a y value. So an y velocity, which is go down, how many pixels go down in a pixel, and the y velocity, how many go pixel goes uh, to the right or left in uh, in a uh, frame. Okay. Uh, it has an actual image, which is stored by this uh, ball class. So in this case, if you want to make more ball, we just give another image to the SDL class, and you know we can do a lot of type of ball. So this is SDL surface called image. Okay. Uh, actually, it has a box as well, which is an SDL rectangle, uh, call it box. This will be among the ball, so we can uh, use this collision method, we just make a few tutorial before. So whenever it hit the uh, wall, then it will, 
you know we can examine that simple that's what it mean okay and uh, probably I think that we use the box to represent the x and the y so we uh, get rid of 8 byte of memory so we don't uh, face 8 byte of memory okay and it has some public function uh, which is uh, which are could be the show which is the uh, actually this is the void void show this will just simple uh, show these uh, ball into the screen but because these are a separate class mm, no, actually, we don't need anything. Uh, yeah, we need a show function. This will call. Uh, this will show the ball. Simple. That's what it means. We need a move function. This will simple do that. Move the ball uh, with x velocity and y velocity. Okay. And actually, I plan to put the col collision to this ball function. So make a bool collision. And the first is a rectangle, rec one, and the second is a rectangle as well. So rec two. Actually, uh, for the performance, we just use uh, pointers both two places. So right here and right here as well. So this is our ball uh, uh, class definition uh, declaration, as you like to call it. So now we should make these functions. Okay, and I'm not guaranteed that this is all the function and variables that we will use and we will make because you know I have no template before me to watch. I just uh, do it in. So I do the planning at and coding at the same time while recording, okay? So, in here we have to include that file we just created in a moment ago, so the, the ball.h, okay? And now, and now we can start to make the functions of this. Uh, oh, I forget the constructor and the destructor, this is very important. So make a constructor, it will wait an int x and int y, actually the first parameter would be the image, so sdl surface IMG, okay, it's weight an x, y, okay, it's weight an x velocity, a y velocity, okay, and actually these are int as well, so int and int, okay, and uh, let me see, oh, it's weight a width and a height, so this we put in here, so int width and int height, okay, that's it, it its constructor weights quite a few parameters, and make a destructor, so ball, okay, the destructor will just simple delete this image, that's all, okay, uh, as I said, we uh, don't really make uh, error handling in here, so you should do this. Uh, you, that you, you should do that. Okay, let's make it. Except if we use a bell uh, colon colon, so we indicate that this is uh, for the bell class. Okay, and uh, make the image equals to img. Okay, make the box dot x equal to x, box dot y equal to y, uh, box dot width equal to width. And box and box dot height equals to height. Simple enough, right? Okay. Make the x well equal to x well, and make the y well equal to y well. Okay. That was very simple. We just simple initialize all of our variables, and that's about it for the constructor. Now make the destructor. So ball, and make it ball. Okay. And this will just use the SDL free surface and our surface which we, we want to free is the image okay and that's for the destructor quite simple is it okay the next thing is to make the, the show function show function i will show you uh, in the show function a uh, new function which we don't ha haven't used yet but we will do in a moment so the show function simple blit this uh, ball to the uh, correct position okay so we use the sdl blit surface for that, we already use that. The source will be the image, because we want to copy this image, uh, which is the image of the ball, so this. The second parameter is what part of the image do we want to copy? We want to copy the entire, okay, the third part, uh, so the third parameter is where do we want to copy, and here where the new function comes in, uh, there is a function called screen, uh, you may know that, uh, what am I talking about? So, there is a pointer that to the screen, you know, which we draw into, and uh, Without this function, we have to give the, the pointer to the, the FD, SDL surface to here. But we don't have to because there is a function that will retrieve that pointer. Uh, this is the SDL get video surface. Okay, this will just simply return with that screen pointer which we will set in the main uh, file. Okay, and the last parameter, where, we, where do we want to put it? We want to put to the address of box. The box is uh, so which we created in here. This will always contain the current x and the y coordinate. 
Okay, and uh, basically that's about the show function. Now the move, move function comes in. For now, I will keep this move function very simple, so it is just simple move the ball. But later in this move function, I will put the uh, you know the collision detection and check if it is inside in the, the maximum uh, uh, height or the minimum. So you know that. Okay, so this is a void move. Actually, it is inside the ball, so we use the method like that. Okay, so box dot x uh, plus equal uh, the the x velocity and the box dot y equals to y velocity. Simple enough, not equal plus equal to y velocity. Simple enough. It is just simple move it. For example, if the x velocity and the y velocity is one, then we uh, add one to the x coordinate and the add one to the y coordinate, and that's about it. Okay. Uh, is there any function? We have a collision function. Uh, it, we already did a collision detection, so it will be quite simple for now. So ball, uh, ball collision, and it's weight SDL rect rect one and SDL rect rect two, and actually the rect two is a pointer as well. Okay, and now just implement this simple function. Uh, so first of all, we have to see that it, if the second rectangle is upper than the first rectangle, so if uh, rect uh, rec one y y is uh, uh, greater than rec two greater or equal than uh, rec two uh, dot uh, y plus rec two uh, plus the plus the height. So if it is true, then we return with zero because uh, the rec two is upper than the rec one. Okay, the next check we see is it lefter, so the rec 2 is lefter than the rec 1. So if rec 1 uh, x is uh, greater or equal than rec 2 uh, x uh, plus rec 2, not rec, rec 2 dot width. Okay, if it is true, then we return with zero. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen the uh, tutorial which I showed you the collision detection, you should check it out because I'm not sure you understand about my explanation right now, but I try to exp explain a little bit of that in that tutorial, so I don't know, maybe. Okay, now we have to check that if the rec2 is under the rec1. So if rec1 uh, x uh, y plus rec1 uh, height is less or equal than rec2 uh, y, then there is no way to be a collision, we return with zero. And the last check, we have to check that is it the uh, writer, so the rec2 is writer than rec1. So, with rec1 x plus rec1 uh, width is uh, less or equal than rec2 uh, x. Okay, that's the last check, and if it is all fail, then we return, return with one. Okay, basically that's about the collision detection, and that now we can move to the pedal function. Actually, uh, uh, with the pedal we have some something that's same. So, include fdl slash slash fdl dot h, and uh, if not defined, if and define uh, pedal h, then we just simply define pedal h, and the end of it just use the end if, and the class goes here. So class pedal. Okay, a uh, pedal has uh, actually uh, SDL, so a box as well. Okay, so we use an SDL rect box. Okay, a uh, pedal has an image as well, so SDL surface image. If you are a great fan of inheritance, these are the same in the ball and the pedal, so you can make a base class for these and uh, put these there. Yeah, uh, I'm I will not do that because I want to keep the code simple and understandable, okay? And I think this is a more understandable way of doing this. Uh, okay, so we have an x velocity, no, just a y velocity because, you know, we are here, then we can just go down or up, or here go up, down, so we don't have an x velocity, we have just a y velocity into y velocity. Okay, and, uh, okay, what did we do here? Uh, I think there is no need for other things, so if it, if the public function can come in. Okay, uh, we need a constructor, obviously, pedal. This will wait an int x, an int y, an int width, and an int height, an int y velocity, and actually the first parameter should be the image, because I like the kit in the first parameter, so SDL surface, img. This is the pointer as well. Okay, that's it, that's, for, that's the constructor, we have a destructor. 
similarly to the ball, the destructor will just destroy the image.